wanted to eat in Bologna, Italy. Oh boy, I love Bologna sandwiches. When can we eat? Uh, you're thinking of bologna sandwiches, Ben. I sure am. I think about them a lot. Woof, woof. Bologna is the food capital of Italy, and that means pasta. I thought that was spaghetti. Spaghetti is pasta, Ben. But so is capoletti, tortellini, lasagna, macaroni, strozzapreti. In fact, there are 350 different types of pasta. Ooh, and I could eat them all right now. Yeah, all this pasta talk has made me hungry. So, we're in front of a restaurant. Let's eat. Hello, and welcome to Nona Cucina. Uh, please follow me. Nona is Italian for grandmother. And Cucina is Italian for kitchen. So this is... Grandma's, Grandma's Kitchen! kitchen. Woof, woof. I just want pasta. A big plate of spaghetti, please. No spaghetti. Okay, I'll have rigatoni. No rigatoni. You don't have ravioli either, do you? Uh, let me check. Uh, yes. You have ravioli? I meant, uh, yes, we have uh, no ravioli. Uh, what do you have? Uh, we have a beautiful panini made with fresh mozzarella and topped with fresh greens. Hey, that sounds great! What is it? I believe in English it is called a bologna sandwich. Wow, that's exactly what I wanted! I don't understand. Why don't you have any pasta? Uh, as you know, this is Nana's kitchen. Well, Nana isn't in the kitchen. Where is she? She won a cooking contest. First prize was a trip to Las Vegas. She'll be back in a week. Unfortunately, no Nona, no pasta, and no customers. And I don't know how to make a pasta. Is it the monkey trying to tell me something? That's Bango. I'm Annie, and this is Ben. Mango's a chef. He can make almost anything. Is there he a pastile? A chef who makes a pasta? That's mango for yes. You want me to let your monkey make a pasta? Sure, why not? Uh, I have no customers, so what do I have to lose? The kitchen is that way. Perhaps Ben could put out non the sign and we could tell people we have a fresh pasta again. I'm on it. I love to talk to people. Woof, woof, woof. Why is the mango washing his feet? Trust me. It's the mango method. This is how you make pasta. First, you pour your flour into a circle. Then, crack two eggs into the middle of the circle and a pinch of sea salt. That's it? That's all? No! Now, he has to work the dough and stretch it out. Uh, I don't remember my Nonna taking off her shoes. That's the mango method. Now, the ball of dough has to sit for a few minutes so all the ingredients mix properly. Should I be doing something while we wait? People are coming in! I need one spaghetti and one ravioli! Ben knows how to be a waiter. Yes, and he's gonna need our help. Spaghetti, one ravioli. Ordering a four ravioli and six spaghetti. Seven spaghetti, two ravioli. Five spaghetti. I need a twelve spaghetti. Yes, all our pasta is fresh. Chef Mango is making it now.
mango. I've got the ravioli. I've got the sauce. I've got a cart for everything. I let the rain of the spaghetti. Don't forget the cheese. We're all set. Where is the food? Where's the food? Il tiburki. That is Italian for the food is here. And today's special guest chef is Chef Mango. Scusa, are you telling us that the pasta was made by a monkey? Try it. You'll love it. This is a delicious. The monkey is a pastel. A genius pastel. Monkey pasta. Bring us some of that pasta. Oh, monkey pasta. It's amazing. Here's a monkey's amazing pasta. Magnifico mango. What a day. We had the pasta, happy customers, and clean the plates. And now, our dinner. And this is as good as my nonna's. Uh, but uh, never tell her I said that. And I want you to have a nonna's cutting wheel. So you never forget your day in Bologna. Oh, I'll never forget Bologna. Why, Ben? Why will you never forget Bologna? Because I learned when you're really hungry, it has to be pasta! <laughs> Bring her in slow, Captain Mango. We can dock right here. And here we are in Santa Barbara, California. Hey, I hear barking. Lots of it. But that's not dog barking. The accent is all wrong. And everybody seems to want a fish. The accent isn't wrong. You are, Ben. The barking is coming from the harbor seals. They're all over Santa Barbara and the Channel Islands. Well done, Captain Mango. Now, who's hungry? We are! Hey, come on! Wait for me! I love fresh fish! Look! The chef made Mango's banana look like a banana fish! What's he saying, Ben? He has a really thick accent, but I think his name is Dave, and he wants a fish! Woof! 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 I told him he couldn't have my fish. Hey, I said you couldn't have it. <laughs> Maybe your accent made him think you wanted him to have it. That's true. Barking is a very hard language. Here, you can share my fish and chips. I got a lot more than I can eat. Great. That looks so good. Where's Mango? I don't know. We'll look for him after lunch. <laughs> or we could go look for him now that lunch is over. Roof, roof. What did you say to him, Ben? I told him I hope he enjoyed our lunch. I don't see him anywhere. I hope he didn't get into any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a sea monster. A sea monkey. Are those starfish your new friends, Mango? <laughs> okay, but we want to go to the end of the wharf. And? Uh-oh, they don't want to let go. Allow me. <gasps> Woof! What did you say to them, Ben? Sometimes it's not what you say. It's the way you say it. Oh my goodness! What's that? It's a brown pelican. 
I had no idea they were so large. I've only seen them in books. I think she's hungry. Oh, there's a booth selling little fish for the pelicans. I'll go get some. She says her name's Sandra. Oh, I'll bet you like these. <laughs> you eat more than Ben. No, he eats what I eat and what a pelican eats. Where did Mango go now? <laughs> Only you would feed a pelican like that. There's Anacapa Island, the island of the blue dolphins. That's that book you love, Island of the Blue Dolphins. It is. I've read it a dozen times. It's all about a girl stranded alone on the island. Her only friends are the island animals, the dolphins, and the sea otters. I see why you like it. Mango and I are your friends. <laughs> exactly. I've got a fish! No, Dave does. Not this time, Dave. That's my fish. No, Ben, that's the ocean. It can be dangerous. Come back with my lunch, Dave! Oh, no. Hang on, Dave. I'm coming. Dave's caught in an old fishing net. We have to help Ben save him. Come on, Mango. We need the boat. Okay. I'll meet you out there, Mango. Hang on, Dave! Help's on the way! Hurry, Mango! He's tangled up, Mango! Can you get him free? You saved Dave! <laughs> For being so brave and saving a harbor seal! Ta-da! Fish and bananas for the heroes! Oh boy, I've been so hungry for this! Dave, you're welcome. He wants us to have the shell as a souvenir of today, so we won't forget him. A thank you note sealed with a kiss. Hey, I tell all the bad jokes around here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're in New York. The Big Apple, the largest city in the world. The home of Times Square. Broadway. Park Avenue. And my favorite, Central Park! Who would ever guess a giant park would be in the middle of Manhattan Island in New York City? Places to run, new things to see, food to eat, squirrels to chase. Stick together, guys. You can easily get lost here, so... <laughs> Squirrel? Where? Oh, boy! <laughs> Wait for me, so we can stay together. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, did he get away before you could play with him, Ben? <coughs> wow, this looks serious. Can you understand them, Ben? I sure can. The squirrel is the president of the park animals, and he's telling the raccoon he has to leave the park. 
Ah, oh, the poor raccoon! I can see he doesn't want to leave. He's so sad. We should see if we can help. You poor thing. What's wrong? Somebody stole a hot dog from the cafe. Stealing food from humans is against the park animal rules. And they think Art did it. Oh, sorry. This is Art. Art, this is Annie, and Mango, and I'm Ben. Pleased to meet you, Art. Did you steal the hot dog? Me, me, me. Art says they think he's the thief because a rabbit saw an animal with a mask and a striped tail. That's not fair. They can't make him leave just because of his face. Or his tail. Lots of animals have masks and stripes. I think we should talk to the rabbit. Good idea, Ben. <laughs> oh, Mango, it's just a statue. See how people and animals can make mistakes? Is that the bunny art? Don't run at the rabbit! He'll think you're chasing him! Hey! I want to talk to you! No! Wait! I just want to talk! Wait for us, Ben! Oh, look! There's a turtle pond! And we're heading right for the ramble! It's a bird sanctuary! <laughs> Good idea, Mango! <laughs> Travel by tree! Come on, I just want to talk. Slow down. Yeah, you talk to a mango. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. This isn't a wrestling match. We just want to talk. Robert, the rabbit here, says he saw you running away from the cafe with a hot dog. What's he saying, Ben? He says he just saw Art over by the cafe where the hot dog was stolen. But that's impossible. Art was with us. Then someone else, who looks like Art, took the hot dog. Spread out. Watch the cafe. Maybe they've come back for more hot dog. Nothing over here. Excuse me, but I just need to look under your table for a hot dog thief. Nope, no hot dog thief. Thank you. That's him! The thief! Ruff! Ruff! Oh, Jason! Mango, no! Gotcha! Wow! <sighs> All right! Why'd you steal the hot dog, cat? Oh, this is Esther. She says she didn't take the hot dog. Come on, guys. Let's hear Esther's side of the story. <coughs> Esther says the hot dog fell off the table. We can eat human food if it falls on the ground. It's animal law. Yeah, I think that's a human law, too. But the park animals think Art stole the hot dog because you two look so much alike. You'd better tell the squirrel what really happened or they'll make Art leave the park. And the park is his home. <coughs> Esther lives in that apartment building. She'd never want to lose her home. So she's going to go with Art to talk to the squirrel. Wow, glad we could help. So what do you guys want to do now? 
I've been running all morning, Annie. Could you get your hot dog a hot dog? Sure, I'm hungry too. I think New York hot dogs are the best. Yeah. Looks like everything's okay, Annie. Art wants you to have a souvenir, so you'll always remember today. Oh, thank you, Art. Look, guys, it's a map of Manhattan. We don't have to worry about getting lost anymore. Hmm, where should we go next? <laughs>